certainly they were skirting the law in terms of partial birth abortion. They were skirting the law in terms of soliciting uh, body parts and procuring body parts for, the, for Stem Cell Express and other companies like that. So that appeared to be what was in the videos, but they said, no, 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 they've deceptively edited. So the House committee that is investigating this said, well, give us the raw footage. So they gave the raw footage to the House, and then an abortion group said, oh, wait a minute, you don't release that raw footage. Well, why would they not want to release the raw footage? I thought it was deceptively edited. I thought it was just a hoax. The raw footage should exonerate Planned Parenthood if that was true, but they were very adamant not to let that go out. Now we learn from Politico that complete raw footage from the Planned Parenthood video surfaced Thursday on a conservative website, Got News, whose editor said he'd gotten it from a House staffer despite lawmakers' pledge to keep it confidential. Editor Charles Johnson released the full foot footage on Thursday after the National Abortion Federation got a temporary restraining order a day earlier prohibiting any dissemination. Johnson said he would, quote, contest any unconstitutional prior restraint of speech. Good for him. Well, in a time of creeping surveillance everywhere, you might have heard by now that Google absolutely freaked out when Alex Jones stormed their Austin headquarters, turning the cameras around on them. Now, we played a shorter version of that report uh, today on the Alex Jones radio show. And we are going to have a longer extended version with all the goodies coming up right after this short break. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. It's time to stop submitting to this tyranny. It's time to realize that we're being enslaved. Some of these same vo voices also do their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. Tyranny with a capital T. You should reject these voices. Everything that's been done with torture, rendition, the NDAA, the Patriot Acts 1 and 2, from day one, was focused on the American people, period. That's it. It's always been about erasing the Bill of Rights and Constitution and rolling out NSA spying publicly, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, rolling out torture, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, but it's really for the general public, rolling out total control and the end of any underground free market systems in the name of fighting Al-Qaeda, but really shutting down any type of free commerce. This is all about converting us from a free society to a tyranny with a capital T. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, Com. See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. 
This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Well, here's the latest proposal from the totalitarian PC crowd. Now, Silicon Valley experts are saying that they want to use pop-ups to shame people who make offensive posts on the internet. Now, this is tech expert Adria Richards. She was interviewed for a Wired magazine piece about online harassment, and she suggested that pop-ups could be used to shame people who make racist internet posts or use offensive words. There could be little pop-up warnings. Hey, a lot of people have reported they don't like receiving this word. Do you still want to post this? Oh, that'll be just as annoying as all those pop-up ads that we have everywhere. Now, surprisingly, the Electronic Frontier Foundation's Nadia Kayali agreed with this. She remarked, yeah, can we shame people with pop-ups? Because shame seems to work a lot better. Hey, did you know you're being racist right now? So it's sort of like the uh, MTV crowd is just going to be everywhere now policing all of your posts on the Internet. Now, let's not forget that feminists uh, just last month went before a United Nations panel on cyber violence to push for this very same thing. They wanted to censor anyone who calls them stupid or disagrees with anything that they have to say on the Internet. So this is very totalitarian. The Washington Post labeled the UN plan a radical, dangerous vision for the future of the web and warned that it could force social networks to proactively police every profile and post and mandate that government agencies only license those who agree to do so. Oh my goodness, and we've talked about that before. Your permission to use the internet just like they do in China. Of course, the only plus I could see to that is that I would get a trigger warning if someone wants to post a picture saying, check your privilege or, oh, hey, look, I'm running a race and free bleeding. Everything we type into the Internet helps the artificial intelligence learn. Who cares about the consequences? It's just like with autonomous vehicles. There might be a few casualties along the way, but the ultimate goals of the empire will be accomplished. Just take a look at this autonomous Tesla being driven uh, the car is malfunctioning, the guy is driving it along and it's going happily and then, oh, <laughs> exactly. It's one thing to have your software crash on you, but the vehicle that you are riding in, absolutely not. So who is looking out for Little Brother? Who's watching The Watchers? Now, it's okay for Google to watch our every move, 
but heavens forbid we start watching them. Now, Google freaked out when Alex Jones stormed their Austin headquarters. Google, of course, is notorious for spying on internet users, but when Alex attempted to film inside, he was immediately asked to leave. Jones and the crew were told that the company didn't allow video recording, and this is despite the fact that a huge sign on the wall made it very clear that Google was recording everyone who was inside the vicinity. Uh, but when Jones, of course, pointed out that Google had secretly installed software on computers that can listen to people's conversations without them knowing, that's when the Google reps got a little nervous. Google has announced they're watching and listening to you over your microphones and camera. Is it the politically correct thing to do to submit to the viewing and but say it's not happening because in a free country they're not watching you, even though they admit they are? Is that the proper mode? Uh, I, I don't have a comment. Not right now. It's just best to submit to the machine takeover. I, I agree with you. The way some people see it, Big Brother is watching and his name is Google. Google's wearable computer is also facing stiff resistance, mostly over privacy concerns. Eric Schmidt is Google's CEO. If you have something that you don't want anyone to know, maybe you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. In the not too distant future, you'll likely see some of these cruising past you. There's what I call the creepy line. I would argue that implanting things in your brain is, a, is beyond the creepy line. Mine in particular. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, at least for the moment, uh, until the technology gets better. Now, a lot of times, people ask me why I do confrontational things. I don't do as much as I used to. It's because the globalists are confronting us. They're getting in our face. They're doing things to us. And they're taking our data. And it's time we just give them a little bit of the aggressiveness they give us to illustrate how what they do is hidden hand. What they do is digital. The real power in this world is still, and will get even more powerful in the future, physical. As less people get physical, as less people deal in third dimension and use their mind for fourth and fifth dimension thinking, what we're doing right now is where it's all at. Let's go in. Hello, ma'am. Alex Jones, how are you doing? I'm um, Walter, how are you? Good, good. This looks like an exciting event tonight. How are you doing, Alex Jones? Infowars.com and here visiting our buddies at Google. What are you guys about to do here tonight? Actually, we don't uh, allow recording in here. Well, but Google told me in an update that it uses the camera and microphone to listen to me in my house. Just one second. I mean, you don't allow recording in here, but you got our camera right there on the computer that Google says it uses to watch people. I'm a little confused by that. I mean, we got everybody getting roped in here, and then we're just here with a camera. I mean, Google's got its cameras on all our computers. We use Google watching us. I mean, just explain that to me. How can he say we shouldn't have a camera in here when Google is all about selling our data? And, 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 and interviews, I'm sorry. You yeah. just listen to us inside our houses without asking and try to take our cars over? Is that all? You lobby government to take our cars away? Anyway, so we're just here with a camera. Google has phones you know, dialing in, watching us, listening to us. I mean, I'm really trying to figure this out. Let's go look at some of the food over here. Here we go. Absolutely. Oh we, oh, we can't videotape in here? Don't worry, we're already streaming it live. You won't stop our transmission. Anyways, we're here inside Google. Invitation only. Google doesn't tell you it's invitation only when they hack into your house and watch and track everything you're doing. Look, we got lots of. This is a private event. Google is not. Oh, whoa, whoa! Private. Please don't touch our equipment. Well, please don't I'm not going to touch your Google. Tr whoa, ma'am, don't touch me, please. This is a private event, sir. Well, ma'am, I, I don't want to. Wanna... Well, I need you to not touch me. Well, I need you to leave, sir. Okay, but is it a private event? Is Google watching and listening inside here? I do not work for Google. Well, good, well, you know. shouldn't be touching me. That's assault. Well, you shouldn't be. Well, I was a, actually. Well, I need a police officer to tell me that. So you need to go ahead and have them call. Oh, no problem. Good. Yeah, do that. Go ahead. So again, Google trespasses on us, tracks and listens to everything we do. We come here, and what did I say the response would be? We're polite, we're nice, and this is how Google ropes in all the local community and gives them a little free cheese and stuff, like you do a mouse before it gets in the trap and slams the door shut. But just like we've had all the NSA whistleblowers on, we're gonna continue to expose the public front of the NSA. Come on, let's go back outside now. One of our latest additions to InfoWars, he's going to introduce himself now, just pointed out some key humet or human intelligence when he was inside. So we're going to go back in and show everybody. It's Michael Zimmerman. Uh, when we were inside just now, I noticed a sign on the window that says when you're in this building, everything uh, that goes on here is going to be recorded for this, this event. 
So you're on camera no matter where you are in the Google building, and uh, they'll they'll capture you on camera there. But they're mad at us. Come show right. us the sign. Exactly. Come show us the sign.